It's unfortunate that January 6th is now tied to the insurrection two years ago. So that's what we think about on this really festive day of the church year. This morning, a couple hours ago, you know, 400 of us were in here uh, celebrating the Feast of the Epiphany, which is really the important date of January 6th, a date you always want to remember because it's Epiphany, not because it's the date of an insurrection. And Epiphany is so profound for a couple of reasons. One is, that, of course, it marks the end of the Christmas season. But two, it because it becomes the um, invitation for us to see in Jesus the appearance of God, the manifestation of God, the aha, I finally understand what's going on with this child named Jesus uh, who and what he represents in this broken world. The wise, the wise ones who travel from afar, you know, bring those gifts of frankincense and myrrh and gold and, and they come down on bended knee after this long search uh, and they recognize who Jesus is. My offer to you uh, this epiphany is that you never give up the search. Keep, keep looking, read the stars, listen to the voices around you, go back to go back to the fundamentals of what you know about your faith. Uh, don't, don't, be, don't be wandering around aimlessly as though you don't know what God is like or, or where to find God in your life. Jesus is right in the middle, and we are only called to give Jesus our whole heart and soul and mind. So this epiphany, maybe the aha, will be within you who finally realize that the search for God is over. He's in our midst. He's in your heart. He's in your life. And he's there to love you, to guide you, to restore you, and to bring you, to bring you the peace we all seek. So happy Epiphany and hope that you find what you're looking for. See you Sunday. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.